Well, they're noisy, smelly, and there's more than 150,000 of them. Bats, as far as the eye can see, are outnumbering humans in this city. But while most people are trying everything to get rid of them, some enjoy their company. I don't think that we should live with these vermin. They're flying vermin to me. Oh, they're going. They're estimating over 150,000 in the colony here. I mean, they are very misunderstood. They are, are extremely important to our environment. You're a little ambassador for the species, darling. Tamworth is famous for its country music festival. But right now, these bats are hogging centre stage. And just like the music, the flying foxes aren't for everyone. But their sounds and their smell certainly are unforgettable. And it's night and day, and when they fly in, it's just unbelievable. They are horrible. Ruth Stewart isn't a fan. Unfortunately, they've taken up residence around my place. The 82-year-old grandmother has lived here for 40 years, but over the last decade, more and more fruit bats have decided to call her trees home. The smell, the smell and the noise, as much as you try and block it out, it, it's very difficult. They're pretty noisy. I thought bats were supposed to sleep in the daytime. I wish they would. I really wish they would. Ruth says over the years, the council's tried everything to get rid of them, including poisoning and cutting down non-native trees. Unfortunately, that wasn't a great success. It destroyed my garden and my surrounds. An air gun used to be her weapon of choice to ward them off. But nowadays, she says, a walk will do. You just bang the bloody bastard. Problem solved. Until the ears <laughs> can't cope with it any longer. Pardon the pun, Ruth, but do you feel like you're going batshit crazy? Absolutely. I've been batting for a long time. But wildlife carer Jay Price loves the company of bats. They're extremely misunderstood. I mean, this is a wild animal. She's quite calm. They're the only animal that I've ever come across rescuing that actually when they realise that you're there to help, they calm down. And when we finally got She's there, named she this one David. She'd been hit by a motor vehicle and had her wrist clipped and it was all swollen so she's just recently come off two courses of antibiotics to try and get the swelling down and um, she's been a, a wonderful bat to look after. She's a very good eater. I always say love them or hate them, we need them. A lot of people are worried about the diseases that bats carry. I mean, why do you feel so comfortable around them? So we're vaccinated against Australian bat lister virus, which is a form of rabies. So we've been, this is why we tell people not, not to touch bats, because uh, if you're bitten or scratched, that's how the, tra the disease can be transmitted over. When Jay is housing an injured bat, she keeps the room toasty and decorates their cage so they feel at home. That's the right side up for our bats, hanging upside down. I've got a few she-oak branches on top. It just helps to take that um, sterile look out of the cage. Why do you think we're seeing so many more bats in Tamworth now? Look, we're seeing so many more bats in Tamworth at the moment because of the bad weather over at the coast. Uh, the rain is washing out the blossoms there, so there's no food there for them. And they go out of an evening. Mayor Russell Webb says don't the want. bat colony's oh, almost okay. doubled in size since May, outnumbering humans there two to one. Really, we can't do much about it. We've got to live with them. They are great for our ecology. At dusk, Tamworth looks more like Transylvania, 
And for the city that's popular for its country music festival each summer, but I need someone to love me. The bat chatter in winter isn't exactly music to the ears of some residents. And it just kind of like floods the whole sky and it's very distracting when I try. But um, yeah, other than that, they're very noisy. Smelly, they're filthy. They're... We, we walk along the water uh, walk and there's mess everywhere. Get rid of them because they're just a pest and they're caught shitting in all the water in the Pool River. The mayor would prefer more country music fans than flying foxes. Um, I'd like to see more visitors at the Country Music Festival coming here and spending some, uh, some money in our, uh, in our great uh, city. Do you ever play country music to shoo them away? <laughs> no, I don't like country music. Do you think they bring any benefit? Personally, no. The defecation on houses and cars and roofs and I know it. Anyway, it's part of life. Just hope you don't get pooed on. Well, you try not to. <laughs> you do your best to stay away from them. They're just here for the Blossom Festival. It's a bit like our country music festival when everyone comes in country music and then once it's all over, they all leave. Hey, thank you. Oh, it's all right, sweet pea.